Every time we think we found a piece of the lost plane, it turns out to be giant ocean trash. How much trash is in the ocean? Anthony Carboni here for D News, and the search for Flight 370 is unearthing huge amounts of debris. Over four hours, a single search plane from New Zealand spotted 70 objects they thought could have been from the plane, but turned out to be things like huge tangles of fishing line and icebox lids. A French satellite spotted a 75 foot long object they thought could be a wing from the plane, but it turned out to be scrap that could have been anything from a piece of an old shipping container to an overturned yacht hull to a rocket booster. What? Okay, can we break down just how much junk is floating around out there. Well, it's hard because there isn't any sort of worldwide monitoring system set up and currents are always moving things around, but research from the National Center for Ecological Analysis and Synthesis and the Algalita Marine Research Institute pegs it to about 200 million tons of our trash in the ocean. There are about 75,000 pieces of plastic floating on the ocean surface per square kilometer. That's not even counting the stuff that's underneath. 14 billion pounds, that's 6.35 billion kilograms of trash is dumped into the ocean every year. Recreational boaters dump about a pound every time they go out, but it's really industrial dumping that does the most damage. Merchant, military, and cruise ships. Merchant ships toss 5.5 million containers of trash into the ocean every day. There's also stuff like coastal sewage systems. About 1% of the trash floating in the ocean came from the sewers. And all that stuff gets taken out into huge currents called gyres that circle the world. The plastic floats around out there for, well, functionally for as long as we've had plastic. It takes about 500 to 1,000 years for plastic to photodegrade in the sunlight completely. And for that whole time, it's just breaking apart into smaller and smaller pieces that are floating around out there. And gyres have been carrying man-made trash all over, even washing plastic bags and other stuff up in Antarctica. And some of it has collected together, building solid hunks of trash over time. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a large system of floating trash islands, some of them as large as the deck of a sailboat, and the total size is estimated to be anywhere from 700,000 to 15 million square kilometers, so anywhere from 0.5 to 8.1 percent of the total surface area of the Pacific Ocean. It's hard to say though, since most of it is right under the surface and hard to pick up on satellite imaging. That is a lot of trash, man! What do you do about all this trash? Nothing, unfortunately, mostly nothing. See, a cleanup effort that would actually wind up picking up enough trash to start leveling the amount that we're putting in there out would take about 630 cleanup ships that could hold 226 million kilograms of trash each. That's about 20% of the size of the whole world's fleet of oil tankers. The biggest help, according to the conservation group Five Geyers, would be lowering the amount of plastics we use and throw away and letting the Geyers wash what's already in the ocean up onto the shores and then cleaning up beaches and shorelines. But you can see why it's hard to find a single plane in there, I guess. Kind of weird downer news. I'm sorry about that. If you're looking for something a little more up, check out my friend Katie Wayne's channel, Weird, Gross, and Beautiful, where she talks about animals she thinks are, well, weird, gross, and beautiful. She says stuff like this. Huh? Wow, turtles uh. aren't so uh. weird. They're kind of like us a little bit, but not. She's a hoot. And feel free to hit me up on Twitter about this story or anything else you see on D News. I'm at A Carboni.